that's it. All right, guys. So welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing, oh, I left this wide open. I'm going to be showing you guys two super quick three slash two ingredient um, recipes that I literally love and swear by. They're so good. Um, they're so good for you. They involve oats, bananas. Um, so we're going to be making two different things. We're going to be making oatmeal banana cookies. Um, those are only two ingredients, literally just bananas and oats. Um, then we're going to be making granola bars. Those are three ingredients. It's just going to be oats. It's going to be some agave syrup or whatever sweetener of choice that you want to do. And then um, a nut butter. Um, I'm going to be using almond butter and those will help us make granola bars. So basically those are the only things you need. And what I love about these recipes is A, that they're super easy. B, you can also customize them to your liking. So if you want to add more um, or take away more, change the ingredients. I've made the granola bars with um, hazelnut spread before, super good. I've experimented with different nut butters. I did a banana nut butter last time, which was so good. Um, yeah, and it's just like super quick and easy, healthy snacks that you can eat and you can munch on all day because I am a huge snacker and I find that if I don't have healthy snacks to snack on, then I am going to be eating junk all day, kind of like I did during the holidays. I had a lot of bad stuff but it's a new year but um yeah let's just get started before i continue to ramble on but this will be part of my eat clean 2019 um series i think is what i'm going to call it so i'm not too sure stay tuned we're gonna get started first thing let's just get started on the banana cookies because banana cookies i have just four ripe bananas you want to make sure that they're pretty ripe or not pretty ripe but i'm sorry almost or they're starting to brown because that is when they are the mushiest that is when they are the sweetest and i promise you guys they are so so good um we'll just be eating that and some oats a bowl and um there's the big Okay, you guys, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put these bananas in the bowl and I will do, I'm going to mash all of them, it's usually four. Um, when I make them, I'm making a pretty big batch today, but usually when I make these, I use two bananas and then one cup of oats. So for every two bananas, I do a cup of oats. So today, since I will be using four bananas, I'm going to be using most likely two cups of oats. I honestly just eyeball it because it kind of varies. Um, and I add the oats slowly because you want that thick consistency, but you also don't want too much oats, if that makes any sense. Um, let's see if I can angle it this way. That way you guys can really see what I'm doing here. I like to just slice them or I mush them I should say one by one because I find that it's easier to sort of start smashing and that's literally all you're going to be doing and that's why I like emphasize the fact that like I know I joked around in the beginning like oh my god wash my hands gross nasties but like you are going to be doing a lot of hand touching with the banana so you just definitely want to make sure that you're sanitary and have everything nice and clean and um, also it's super easy to smash with a fork um, you can also do a spoon I will take a spoon at the end um, just to kind of mush everything together because it's a lot easier um, to kind of get in there and like really stamp it so that's basically what I'm going to be doing I'm going to add one banana at a time and continue to smash each one on top of the other one and um, we will be repeating that and I also when I put it in the bowl I literally just um, put it like I make sure I chop it into little pieces already not chop it but you know what I mean like divide it into fourths I should say um, and then it makes the mushing a lot easier than it would if you stuck like a whole banana in here because then it just gets gets out of control man it gets out of control and it's just all about putting them in here smashing making sure it's all smashed together and then we're just adding bananas so like i said it just kind of depends when i do two bananas and a cup of oats i get anywhere between like god there's half a cup there's another half a cup up and then I will just start 
mixing it in. And this is why I like to take a cup at a time, just because it can get a little overwhelming on the in the bowl, and you put a lot of oats in, and it's just easier to mix in versus automatically putting in the two cups of oats. I just don't want it to get everywhere, and it's easier to measure out. And I promise you guys, I know it seems kind of long because I'm talking through it, but this literally takes me like five minutes and it's just so amazing because a they're super good and b they're good for you they're only two ingredients and like it's a guilty it's like a guilt-free cookie you know like me personally i love oreos <laughs> like cookies in general i'm obsessed with like i love chips ahoy i love the chewy chips ahoy i like the ones with the peanut butter the reese's peanut butter cup chips ahoy i like I like I like Oreos. My favorite are the double stuffed Oreos. Those things are like everything. I really like those. Um, I like Nutter Butters. Love Nutter Butters actually. I love peanut butter. So like Nutter Butters like 10 to 15 minutes. So let's get these in there. Not expand. They expand up and not out. So it's super easy. It's not like um, other cookies where you have to be really mindful of how far apart you're spreading them. Um, these are amazing because they do do that. And the way I test them once you get them in the oven is um, once I know they're ready is I pull them, I pull one up and if the bottom of the cookie itself is starting to brown a little bit, um, that's how you know that the cookie itself is ready. Um, they peel right off of the sheet, which is amazing, which is why I really like these. I made the mistake the first time of making them with, um, I used foil and I burnt them. It's just the heat and foil. It's like a leather jacket, like it traps you in, you know, or leather, just leather in general. Like that episode of Friends where Ross gets stuck in his leather pants. Yeah, like that. Um, so yeah, but for the granola bars that we'll be making, those you definitely do want to use um, foil because you're going to be putting those in the fridge for about an hour and those are super easy to peel off of the, um, how do I say it? Those are super easy to peel off of the foil um, once they're in there. So I think we might be using another sheet. Let's see. I hope not. I didn't realize this made so many. One, two, three. We'll, we'll count after. But I promise you guys, these are so good. They probably don't look the prettiest, but you know, it's not always about what's on the outside. It's also about what's on the inside. Um, yeah, let's see here. I'm going to start moving them around a little bit. Some of these are great. Well, this is where we'll put our wet ingredients dry ingredients and um, we'll be mixing them all together in this big bowl after. So basically what you want to do is you want to get about a, or I'm just going to use a cup and I'm going to pour in here the almond butter. I'm using this raw almond butter, the creamy one by, uh, I got it at Trader Joe's. I love this stuff. So basically I'm going to put about a cup of that in here. About, there you go. I'm going to pour it into my bowl. And with the agave, or the, whatever sweetener of choice you choose, um, totally up to you how sweet you want it. So you can add, if you want it sweet, definitely add more. You can also use honey for this. You don't have to use agave. You use whatever sweetener of choice you would like to use. I just like agave. Um, I don't love it, but it's just, it's here. So we're going to use it. And then I'm going to put in just a little bit of agave. Like I said, this I like to eyeball it because it's all sweetener. Um, put some of that in there and then we're just going to mix it up. Now when I use a different kind of butter, like last time I used the banana nut butter as like a banana almond butter. That was really, really good on its own, naturally sweet, so I did not use an artificial, or I did not use an additional sweetener. I just kind of left it. So we're just gonna put this bowl 
in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds so that it can really um, soften up the the drying of uh, the wet ingredients. And in the meantime, we are going to get our dry ingredients going in here. So again, I'm going to put about a cup of oats in the bowl. And then add as we go. That's what I love about all of this is you add as you go, you can customize it. So now we took it out of the uh, microwave. It was in there for about 15 seconds. Um, I think I'm going to put it in there a little bit longer just because this almond butter has been sitting in the fridge, so it's a little bit cooler. Um, I'm going to stick it in there for another 15 seconds. Softer this, these wet ingredients are, the better because it really will allow the uh, oats to really cling onto the wet ingredients and so yeah so now we're just going to mix this in together whoa, whoa, whoa. and it's super easy guys this the only reason this one takes a little bit longer is just because you have to put it in the fridge and let it cool for about I don't know an hour hour and a half and then you can cut it into um, cut it into granola bars, and little squares, things like that. It's totally up to you. you can make more, you can make less. Um, I just like to make it so that I have it for like a couple days and then I will make another batch of both of these. I love to snack both of these at work. They're just great little snacks because you could just take them in like little Ziploc bags or little containers you're choosing and you can just sort of munch on them all day I know I do I like to munch on the cookies when I get like after dinner because it's like a nice little treat also between breakfast and lunch I'm a big snacker like I mentioned earlier so I like to go in and either have one with some of the cookies or I'll have the granola bar also when you hit that you know what I'm talking about that three o'clock crash where like you just want all right guys, so I have now just taken the cookies out of the oven. And so basically what I was talking about earlier about how there you wanna make sure that they're they browned is you pick it up, like they're, just, they're pretty hot so be careful. But you see how they've got like a nice toasty, let it focus, more of a brown cooked shaped to it. Um, and then when you pick one up, sorry, my hands are a little wet. I just finished the dishes. Alrighty guys, alrighty guys, so about an hour has passed and now I just took the little granola bar out of the fridge and so now I'm going to slice it. So I'm just going to use this and I'm going to cut just whatever size bar you want to make. I technically, or I typically just cut in threes, so there's one and then the middle one's usually kind of the big one, the big fluffy one. I'll just cut down and then I will do the same um, for the next one. I'm just going to cut, so I cut vertically and now I'm going to cut horizontally. You have a whole bunch of cookies, a whole bunch of granola bars. You can have that or you can have that. And I love just simple things like this because it just makes everything so easy so good and they're so tasty like i cannot emphasize the fact that these are so good they are super easy super clean and are just so amazing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this i think i'm going like i said earlier in the video i'm just going to keep incorporating things like this because it just makes eating fun it makes healthy eating fun if you can like make things that taste good and you feel like you're not depriving yourself of anything so yeah we're just going to have one of these cookies because they're